Welcome to Team Fast Eddie and HPIBajaTutorials.com. Today we're going to de-anodize parts and we're going to be using a couple of uh, different products here. The first one we're going to be using is called Greased Lightning and it's commercial strength, greased lightning, multi-purpose cleaner and degreaser. And if you go to, I believe, uh, do a Google search on it, and their website, when you find Greased Lightning, will have a store locator, and I do know that it is available at all Lowe's uh, hardware stores. So you're going to go ahead and want to grab a gallon of that. You're also going to want to get a metal or a plastic tub of some sort to put the liquid in. Um, I just so happen to have an ultrasonic cleaner that I'm using. However, I will show you the difference between using it without an ultrasonic cleaner and with an ultrasonic cleaner. Um, basically, the ultrasonic cleaner just harmonically vibrates it and will actually speed up a little bit in the process, but it is not necessary. Um, it is very, very handy if you have some sort of a hot plate to use. Um, when the solution is heated up, it actually activate, activates much quicker as well. Um, but again, that's not necessary. So what I'm going to do is uh, get the equipment set up and we're going to show you how to de-anodize parts using greased lightning. What I've done is I've filled my bucket up with the greased lightning. You really don't need any more in there than what you need to cover the parts. And you're going to need either a pair of needle nose pliers or some tongs or something to get the parts out of the solution once they're done. What I've done is I have a little basket that I use that rests down inside of the solution and it's kind of nice because I can use this to agitate the parts and I can also use the basket to take the parts out so I'm not having to stick my fingers in there. It just makes it a lot easier. Um, so if you have a metal basket around, something to use like that, it's great. Again, if you don't, just put the parts in and, and let them sit. We're going to start off with uh, just two parts today. They're off of our HPI Baja. And very simply, we're just going to drop them in the solution. Uh, this solution is heated up to about 110 degrees. And you can probably heat it up hotter. I don't know. You're going to want to read the directions on the package and make that decision yourself. I'm not going to tell you how hot you can or can't go with it. But whether you're running with it at room temperature or if it's sitting outside and can, the hotter it can get the better you are. If you have a hot plate and a metal bowl to use that works just as well. Um, as we're sitting here the parts are actually starting to de-anodize. It takes anywhere from 5 minutes to 30 minutes for the parts to start to become de-anodized. As you look at it and maybe I can get in just a little bit closer here. You're going to see that the parts are bubbling a little bit. And that's the anod anodizing starting to come off. Go ahead and zoom in here. And if you watch closely, and I don't know how well the video is going to come out, but you can see very small little bubbles in there starting to come up. Um, as it is sitting in here brewing and doing its time, what you can do is you can agitate them just by m simply moving the basket around like this. Uh, what you're going to find is that you're, nothing's going to be happening, nothing's going to be happening, nothing's going to be happening, and then all of a sudden you're going to see the anodizing start to fade out and in some places bubble up a little bit. When you start to see that, uh, again, it's, it's really good just to, to agitate them and help them along. We're working in real time here, and as you can see, the parts are starting to become de-anodized, and the purple anodizing is, is fading. And again, you can agitate it like this, and that does uh, speed up the process a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and let it sit for another 5 or 10 minutes, and take a look back in a little bit and see how it's All right, doing. the parts have been sitting in for there for about 10 minutes so far. Take a look here. Let me zoom in. You can see that they are starting to de-anodize. There still is a, a shade of purple on there, even though it is hard to see. 
Um, there still is some purple left on there, so we're going to let it soak for probably another five or ten minutes. All right, it's about ten minutes later. I'm going to go ahead and agitate the parts. I'm going to pull them up, and we'll see that they are fully deanodized. At this point, what I'm going to do is to grab a bucket of water, and in this case, I'm actually for the smaller parts just using a little jar and it has water in it. The, what we want to do is to wash the parts off as quickly as possible. Um, when you do take them out, if you don't put, submerge them in water and wash off the the uh, greased lightning right away, they can oxidize and turn black and then you're going to end up spend a lot of time uh, trying to buff them out. So I'm just going to drop them in going to put a little cap on there, go ahead and wash it off, and going to head over to the sink and give it a second washing, and we'll be right back. Alright, just got back from the uh, sink. I've gone ahead and washed it all off, and there we go. I'm going to hold it up here a little closer and see if you can catch it in the light, but there is some splotchiness on there, uh, if you can see right in here. They don't come out absolutely perfectly shiny. Uh, at this point, you can either leave it the way it is, or you can head over to your polishing wheel and go ahead and polish it up. But in the meantime, all of our anodizing is removed. I'm going to go ahead and do a few more parts, and uh, we'll show you what we got going here in a little bit. We've got a few areas on the chassis part here that are being a little bit stubborn, so we're just going to use a toothbrush, and we're going to. Uh, just kind of aid those few little spots along with the toothbrush here. It works real well. You can use a scotch bright pad if you would like to. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and flip the chassis around inside here. We're going to go wash it off first and then uh, flip it around and uh, deanodize the other half. 